Ask the Expert. Artificial sweeteners popular with diabetics and people who want to lower their sugar intake. Some new research suggesting, though, a popular sweetener may increase the risk for diabetes. Joining us to talk about this this afternoon, our registered dietitian, Lori Meyer. Okay, what is this specific sweetener we're talking about here? Well, it's Splenda or sucralose. Very, very popular sweetener. You were saying that you use a little bit of it. It's in everything, and a lot of people are using it. This was a very specific study, and it was a small study. It was mm -hmm. done on 17 very obese individuals, a body mass index of 42. And if mm -hmm. you consider obesity starts at 30, these were very obese individuals. But what they wanted to do was find out if these artificial sweeteners, and Splenda in particular, had any effect on sugar metabolism. And so they, g they gave these people either water or sucralose or Splenda before a glucose challenge. And a glucose challenge is when you give a load of, of sugar or glucose and then you measure blood sugar and insulin at, at intervals afterwards. And they found that the sucralose raised blood sugar higher than the water and it also raised insulin. And this is not supposed to happen. It raised insulin 20%. And what we're told with these artificial sweeteners, they're not supposed to raise insulin, they're not supposed to raise blood sugar, and in fact, that's why we're, we're using them. So the, you know, the study is a little bit concerning, and especially in people who are overweight. So even though they have no calories, your body still thinks it's sugar. The body sugar. thinks that it, it's reacting like it is sugar and it's increasing insulin. So now, in that case, you might as well have sugar. Well, and, and it, unless you're a diabetic. But if it, the, the fear is that if it's raising insulin, that this could be actually increasing insulin resistance, mm. which is a precursor to type 2 diabetes. So there's a lot of questions and certainly a lot of study. This is not the definitive study, yeah, but what, it what raises, take away raises a lot of questions. As well, far I, as using artificial I, I think that I think the takeaway is if you're a diabetic, use artificial sweeteners, you need to use them, use them in moderation. What we find, however, if you're just using artificial sweeteners for, for weight loss, they might not be helping you lose weight. We're finding that artificial sweeteners, they stimulate appetite, they increase your cravings for sugar, they encourage your body to store more fat, and they're decreasing serotonin. Sugar itself, at least when you eat sugar, you get an increase in serotonin, it makes you feel good, it shuts off your appetite. These artificial sweeteners don't do that. They make you want to just keep eating more and more and more. Now, there are some artificial sweeteners that are on the market now that appear to be safer. The stevia, okay. the monk fruit, or lohan. And in fact, Splenda is now, they're, they're making this nectress, which is the lo lohan or monk fruit. These, at, at this point, seem to be safer but, you know, again, nobody ever really knows. I think the bottom line is use as little of these as possible and try to reduce that sweet tooth. All right, Lori, thanks. Do you have a question for our experts? Ask the expert. There's a number to call right there on your screen, or you can email them, uh, leave them a voicemail or email them your question. Coming up.